Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. This is Dorn Al Dana, the mortgage marketing coach, coming at you with yet another hard hitting episode that helps you up level and work smarter, not harder. So that's what we're going to be talking about today is how to do exactly that. And the topic today is why buying any kind of lead, whether it be Zillow leads or any other kind of purchase lead is stupid and what to do instead. So this is about being strategic around how you're generating leads, how to make sure you're not wasting your time, your energy, your money on stuff that's just gonna go down the toilet, suck your energy, suck your bank account, and leave you with nothing but a jacked up credit card with nothing to show for it. I wanna talk to you about how to work smart as opposed to just working hard as it relates to getting leads. and. Frankly, I've been in this game 15 years. I've seen it time and time again. People buying leads, whether it be Zillow leads or any other type of lead, they're buying leads because they're looking for some quick fix, right? They don't have enough leads, so it seems intuitive. Let me just go and buy some leads, right? Just makes sense in the moment when you don't really know how to generate your own leads and you're scrambling just to keep yourself above water to go and buy some leads. And of course, these lead companies are happy to sell them for you. And typically sell them to you rather. And typically uh, they're overpriced, they're crap quality, and you end up just wasting a ton of time, energy, and money with nothing to show for it. So I'm gonna unpack a little bit about what I've heard, not just from my own experience, but from my client's experience after 15 years as it relates to the different dimensional elements of what doesn't work about buying leads. Now there might be an anomaly. There might be a rare unicorn anomaly where someone actually makes money with buying leads and it's actually something that consistently is cranking out uh, profits. But what I found to be true is for most cases with rare exception, it is one of those things that causes a lack of proactive building of a true business and has you be trading time for money on the time for money treadmill on a guinea pig wheel and you don't actually get ahead in your business. It might be a way to tread water in your business, but it's not actually a way to get ahead in your business and grow your business. And I want you guys working strategically and intelligently to grow, not just spin your wheels and live in survival mode, but strategically grow and pick the low hanging fruit, the shortest path to the cash to do it. So I'm using a brand new live Facebook feed system called Be Live to do this. Uh, this is the first time using it, so hopefully I don't mess it up. Um, so far, so good as far as I can tell. So the first reason, the first reason out of the five reasons why buying leads is stupid is that it is a situation that gets you into churning through a bunch of crap leads. You end up essentially sifting through a bunch of gravel to find a few gold nuggets. That's not what I want for you. Now, if you are able to have a system that sifts and sorts those leads for you, so you only have to talk with the people who are hot for what you got, and it's supplementary to other buy referral type of strategies, then I would say, yeah, that's actually not a bad idea if you wanna have it be supplementary and you have a system that sifts and sorts for you. So you only have to talk with the people who actually wanna talk with you. But if you're cold calling these leads, typically they're not exclusive, Typically, you've got three to five other companies calling the same lead at the same time. How, how well do you think that's gonna go? Not, not so well, because now they're getting bombarded by multiple companies and they're not answering the phone, they're not answering texts, they're not answering email because they're just being bombarded. You know, It's just getting sipped with a fire hose where there's just too much coming at them and they just shut down and they turtle. So one of the reasons why buying leads is not a good strategic move for you is because it puts you in a position where you're spending a ton of time and energy and money on these crap leads sifting and through all that gravel to try and find a few gold nuggets. And meanwhile, there's a bunch of other companies doing the same thing, calling the same client. And you wonder why they're not converting. Well, wonder no longer. So the quality is usually really, really bad. And frankly, in conjunction with the quality being bad, you're usually paying a premium for these because someone else is generating the leads for you and they're making a healthy margin on the cost to generate the lead and then the cost to serve it up to you and then they're serving it up to three or four other companies. So that's the, the first reason why buying leads is not 
smart. The second reason is it's a bad ROI for the reasons I've just mentioned. You know, you have a bunch of crap leads and you might convert maybe one out of 100, maybe one out of 200. I've had lots of clients who buy leads and they, you know, they get 500 leads. They don't convert a single one of them out of 500. So a massive time suck, as you can imagine, and literally not a single closed deal. In some cases, they're just breaking even and they're getting a, a return that allows them to be in the black just barely, but that's not getting ahead. That's just treading water. And again, the reason for this very low return on investment is because they're cold. They don't know you from a hole in the wall. They're getting bombarded by multiple companies. Um, they opted into something they didn't even realize they opted into. Uh, oftentimes the, the, the data is bunk and not even accurate data. And so you're literally sifting and sorting through all this bunk data. And you might, if you're lucky, close one out of 100. That's not a good use of time, energy, or money. We need systems to be able to sift and sort these people so you can let the cream rise to the top. Will there be people that need to incubate? Will there be people you need to do credit repair with? Will there be people that you need to help find a down payment? Absolutely, yes. Will there be future deals, perhaps in the next three, six, nine, 12 months? Perhaps, yes. But is it the best use of your time, the most profitable use of your time? I submit to you, no. And it's certainly not the best allocation of your money for the reasons I've just covered. The next reason why it's not smart, it's stupid to buy leads for your company is because it's a bad ROT, which stands for return on your time. You see, if you wanna make uh, $100,000 a year, your time needs to be worth 50 bucks an hour. If you wanna make a million bucks a year, your time needs to be worth 500 bucks an hour. And if you're doing stuff that is not producing at those levels, your income is gonna drop accordingly. So we wanna get you operating with the best, most potently profitable strategy that allows you to make the most amount of money per hour and sifting through a bunch of crap leads ain't it. I can think of many other things that would be much more profitable than that. That is at the bottom of the totem pole, as far as I'm concerned. So it's just not a great use of your time, especially if you don't have a lead follow-up system that sends the text messages, voicemails, and emails, so you can just talk with the people who are hot for what you got. If you're literally calling them all and treating them all the same, that is drudgery. That's what I call treading through the mud with concrete blocks on your feet. That is definitely doing it the hard way. And it's a, just a bad use of your time. It's not a way to hit your income goals. And the fourth reason, the fourth reason why buying internet leads is stupid is because it's bad positioning. If you think about it, especially if it's not an exclusive lead and you're getting that lead sold to multiple different mortgage companies, hammering the same lead at the same time, think about how you're positioning yourself. You're positioning yourself as a replaceable commodity. You're replacing yourself as just a replaceable cog in the proverbial wheel. They're seeing you along with all your competitors in the same light, just a replaceable commodity. And all they're thinking about is who has the best what? The best rates, right? Who has the best rates? Who has the lowest rates? Who's going to give me the best offer? And so now you're waging a war on price and price alone. And there's a ton of skepticism, resignation, hesitancy, fear around working with you because they're thinking, well, what if I can find a better price somewhere else? So there's no third party edification, third party endorsement. There's no credibility through referrals or through third party endorsement or through reviews. It's just simply you're calling them because they opted in to something they can't even remember they opted in for and now everyone's bombarding them and their phone is getting lit up like a freaking christmas tree and they're wondering what the hell they just did and they're regretting making that decision and here you are now trying to get a return on your time and money to make this worthwhile well chances are it ain't gonna go so well it's bad positioning you're positioned as a prospector not as a authority not as an expert not as a preeminent advisor in your marketplace. You're positioned as a replaceable commodity prospector, salesman or saleswoman with commission breath, and you're chasing them and they're running away. And that's your business model. If that's how you're trying to bring in leads, buying leads like this, not 
the most strategic, profitable, shortest path to the cash. You know it, I know it. And intuitively, people who buy these leads, they kind of have a sense like, yeah, this is not the, the best option, but it's kind of like the Band-Aid when they need surgery. So they're like, you know, okay, I'll put the Band-Aid on to keep the, the, the gush of blood from, you know, causing me to die by too much blood loss. But they don't realize that what they really need is a total transformation in their marketing, in their mindset, in their positioning, in their reputation, in their ability to attract versus repel, in their ability to position as opposed to prospect. And so rather than doing a total transformation in their foundational strategic business model, they just stick that Band-Aid on that massive gash and it's literally causing them to bleed to death. And so they're freaked out. They don't know what to do. They don't have any options. They don't have any, they, they don't know what the other, their other options are. They don't know what they don't know. So they just buy the Band-Aid and they buy these leads, but it's not actually getting to the root problem. You guys with me? So that's the fourth reason why buying leads is stupid because it's bad positioning. It makes you re a replaceable commodity. The fifth and final reason, and frankly, I could probably come up with 10 reasons why buying leads is stupid, but the fifth and final reason is it's bad opportunity cost. Bad opportunity cost. If you think about it, you only have a certain amount of time and a certain amount of money. And if you're allocating that time and money towards a bunch of crap leads that don't want to hear from you, they're unmotivated, they see you as a replaceable commodity, they see you as chasing them as opposed to attracting them, as opposed to positioning yourself as an expert, and you're one of many and you're waging a war on price, as you use up your bandwidth and time and money to pursue that, what I would consider a very bad opportunity, you have opportunity costs. That means there's things you're saying no to. There's opportunities you're saying no to. There's investments you're saying no to. There's time allocation to better, lower hanging fruit opportunities you're saying no to. And by virtue of saying no to those lower fruit, juicier fruit, more abundant, more profitable opportunities, you're basically stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. And I see it time and time again where, you know, you'll see uh, someone that's a veteran in the business. They got a database of 200, 300 past clients, and they're doing crazy shit like buying internet leads, and they're not mining the gold from their database. They're not putting systems in place to mine the gold from their database to maximize repeat and referral business. And while they're stepping over those dollars, they're picking up dimes, chasing crap internet leads. It's ridiculous. It's insane. It makes no sense. It's absolutely maddening to see this, but it happens time and time again. So they neglect attracting top producing agents because they think all agents are annoying and flaky and arrogant and a waste of time because they're doing it the hard way. It's kind of like sex. If you don't like it, you're probably doing it wrong. If you don't like working with realtors, you're probably doing it wrong. And so they don't work with realtors or they work with the low producing realtors that are annoying and that don't send any business and are a waste of their time to the neglect of the top producers. They don't put systems in place to mine the gold from their database. So instead of attracting two or three deals per month for every 100 past clients, they might be getting one or two deals a year, one to three deals a year from the past client database with hundreds of past clients. It's insane. And then to top it off, they buy crap internet leads that don't convert and they're wasting all their time making chump change, busting their hump, sifting through gravel to find a few gold nuggets. And they wonder why they're in regression or stagnation. Well, wonder no longer, my friends. If you keep stepping over dollars to pick up dimes, it ain't going to go so well. If you keep heading east looking for the sunset, it ain't going to go so well. If you keep heading to the gunfight with a butter knife, it ain't going to go so well. we got to start to upgrade our thinking and our strategic marketing model so you guys can start working smart instead of just working hard. I would never, ever, ever recommend you guys just rely on internet leads uh, or any kind of consumer direct lead generation, whether it be Facebook or Google AdWords or anything like that. If you're just relying on that to the neglect of getting strategic partners, top producing agents who can make you their exclusive and or mining the gold from your database, you're stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. You're grabbing the 24 foot ladder and risking your life dangling from the top of that ladder to reach the high hanging branches to pick the high hanging anemic sour fruit when there's big, plump, juicy, succulent fruit that you can pick from the ground without even needing a ladder. 
That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about strategically shifting how you spend your time, energy, and money so that you pick the low hanging fruit first, right? Because there's no merit badges at the bank for doing it the hard way. There's no brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way. There's no brownie points for working longer and harder for your money, right? So why not pick the low hanging fruit? Buying internet leads is not the low hanging fruit. That's the high fruit. That's the sort of thing you want to automate so that it's literally sifting and sorting through. And if you're going to buy internet leads, you might as well have exclusive leads. And if you're going to do exclusive leads, you might as well either learn to do your own lead generation yourself through Facebook or Google, Google AdWords or social media, or have an expert. This is what I recommend rather than try to be the chief cook and bottle washer, wearing all the hats, doing everything yourself, get an expert to dance in their strengths. So where you are weak, they're unique. So you can just be freed up to dance in your strengths and operate in your zone of genius. You just do what you do best and get the best to do all the rest, right? That way you can just do what you love all day, every day. I don't know about you, but I get a thumper just thinking about pushing all the buttons and knob, knob, twisting knobs and pulling levers as it relates to Facebook ads. Like that stuff just gives me a thumper. It's mind numbing. There's just so much minutia. It's not my forte. I'm a visionary. I'm a strategic big thinker. I don't like to get into the minutia. I just like to cast vision. I like to look at where I wanna go and put the big pieces of the puzzle in place and then let other people who have attention to detail take care of all the minutia. Maybe you're an attention to detail person. Maybe that's what gets you sucked into the vortex of being the chief cook and bottle washer, doing everything yourself. You've got to mitigate that by reminding yourself the question, is this the highest and best and most profitable use of my time? Is this the most profitable use of my time? Chances are not. If it's not, uh, either bringing in more business by virtue of getting new referral partners and or getting more repeat a referral business from your database, chances are it's not the highest and best use of your time. So start to delegate. If someone else can do it 80% as well as you, delegate it, right? And that way you're freed up to dance in your strengths and operate in your zone of genius. Does that make sense, guys? So what to do instead of buying crap internet leads? If you wanna do consumer direct ads, consumer direct lead generation, you want to self-source your own leads, consider having an expert do it for you. So they're twisting the knobs, pulling the levers and doing all that fine detail stuff. So you don't have to get sucked into the vortex of doing it. And now you can just focus on converting the leads. So have someone in your corner who's an expert who can generate those leads for you, manage, optimize those campaigns, and have those leads be exclusive. That way you can manage your positioning through the whole process from ad to landing page to follow-up sequence. Everything is set up so you can manage your positioning. Now you can position yourself as an authority, as an expert, as a preeminent advisor in your space because you control the whole process from start to finish, from ad to landing page to thank you page to your follow-up sequence. Does that make sense, guys? That way you can be a positioner as opposed to just a prospector. You can use your testimonials. You can use third-party credibility. You can use the praise of your happy clients to build that third-party endorsement so that they see you're legit, that you're the real deal. And you can use automation to follow up so you're only talking with the people who are hot for what you got who actually wanna speak with you. That's what you wanna do instead. But I would suggest you do that in conjunction with simultaneously with or after you pick the low-hanging fruit, which is mining the gold from your database and or attracting top producing realtors to make you their exclusive. We show you how to do that without the hell of cold calling, chasing, begging, bribing, or kissing ass. It's attraction-based marketing as opposed to chasing and prospecting-based marketing. Zero cold calling. As far as I'm concerned, cold calling is doing it the hard way. That's caveman marketing from the dark ages. It's time to get with the 21st century, friends. You don't have to build the foundation for your skyscraper with a gardening trowel. You can use an excavator. There's technology called an excavator that uses hydraulics and pumps and power to be able to get 100 times more done in 100th of the time. I mean, it's just, it's mind blowing how much more you can get done. It's called leverage. More results, less effort, less time, energy, effort, and stress. That's what I want for you guys, more leverage. And buying internet leads is the worst way to get leverage if you're 
putting yourself in a position where it's costing you opportunity costs. You got crap leads you're paying a premium for. They're not exclusive. You got a bunch of companies bombarding them at the same time. And you're neglecting all the low hanging fruit and all the more profitable fruit and you're stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. So stop doing that if you're doing that. Stop it right now. Go ahead and call your internet uh, you know, lead provider and tell them I'm done. No more. I'm cutting off the hemorrhage. No longer settling for a Band-Aid when I need surgery. I'm going to do this right. I'm going to build my business to scale profitably, efficiently, and strategically, and intelligently. So if you guys would like to learn how to do that, how to mine the gold from your database if you have one. So you're getting two or three deals per month for every 100 past clients. How to attract top producing realtors to make you their exclusive, working on your terms, not theirs, without the hell of cold calling. How to strategically self-source your own leads on Facebook for a fraction of what you would normally buy from a lead provider, like literally like two to $5 per lead. And to be able to automate that process, so you're only talking with the people who want to talk with you, the engaged hot for what you got buyers. And then you can serve up those pre-approved leads, those pre-approved buyers to your top producing VIP realtor partners on a silver spoon from a silver platter so that they need you more than you need them. And you're flipping the script so that there is a shift in dynamics where you're in the power position. Now you've got the cookie because now they need you more than need than you need them. And you're serving up leads to them. You're helping grow their business. You're helping them bring more buyers. You're helping them put more commissions in their wallet. If you can flip the switch and, and, and flip that script so that they need you more than you need them, it changes everything. If you'd like to learn how to do that, I want to invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. And on that call, what you're going to do is get with me or one of my consultants where we lift up the hood on your business and we look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at, where you want to be and giving you clarity like you never have before on what it's really going to take to get you to that next level, to uproot you from stagnation and regression and spinning your wheels and get you firing on all 12 cylinders, kicking ass, taking names, crushing it, chewing bubble gum. If you want to learn what it really takes and you want to have the clarity like you never have before on what it's going to take to create that breakthrough, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. We'll get together on the phone and we'll help you get clarity like you never had before on how to take your business to that next level, working smarter, not just working harder. So I invite you to take advantage of that. If you're a mortgage professional on 100% commission, you eat what you kill and you want to increase your income by at least $100,000 or more in the next 12 months. If you meet that criteria, go ahead and book a call. First come, first served, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. All right, guys, thanks for hanging with us. Thank you for being uh, part of the tribe and listening to my podcast. I trust you got value from this. And uh, if you dig it and you'd like to share the love and share that you are indeed digging it, I'd love for you to go to iTunes and review my podcast on iTunes. That really helps to build our third party third party credibility and positioning just to let people know that this is indeed the real deal with practical, helpful, useful tips and advice on the front lines to help you win. So again, this is Doran Aldana from MortgageMarketingCoach.com coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Go forth. Take massive action. Bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you'll get massive results. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being with me. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.